Good afternoon and welcome back to the Humble Pie Cookery Kitchen for our Let's Cook Together Cheese Scone Based Pizzas. I hope you're all ready for a good night in and you've chosen your films, more of that later. So we're going to do the pizzas, you need to do your sauce first. Now I've made my sauce in advance. Now I have to apologise because I'm on my own today. Mary Berry does not have this problem, but I can't bring you in close, so I'm just going to have to show you everything as I can, because I'm on my own. So I've made a sauce, and this is just a nice tomato sauce, and as I said yesterday, you only need about half, in slightly less than half of this uh, today. So you put the rest, just put it into a bowl, stir it through some pasta, do something with it later, put it into some mince, you wouldn't waste it anyway. But it's a lovely rich sauce. So you want a small saucepan, half an onion chopped up small, one clove of garlic, and then you want a tin of tomatoes. Well, first of all, put that into the pan, sorry, your garlic and your onion into the pan with some olive oil, and then cook that on a sort of medium-low heat until the onions are softened but not brown. Don't burn your garlic. So you want to be on about three on the, uh, on the hob. Then you're going to add, when that's softened, add a tin of tomatoes and a good tablespoon of tomato puree with a teaspoon of mixed herbs. And then leave that to mulch away nicely. And it wants to bubble over that heat, bring it up to, to the boil, and then bubble it over that heat for a good 10 minutes, quarter of an hour, just to give a nice rich flavor. So that's going to be your sauce. And then you can leave that to cool while you make your scone base mixture. So, got my mixer um, measuring thing here. Scales, that's the word. So I'm using self-raising flour because we want them nice and fluffy. And I'm going to measure out 12 ounces, 340 grams. Because you're only going to do this size, a family sized um, baking sheet. So 12 ounces will do fine for this. So I've got um, that in there, and into that I'm going to put some cheese. Now again, I've got 12 ounces in here, but I only want to use about two thirds of it because the other is going to go on the top. Make it all nice and cheesy. One of my favorite films, Cheesy Cheesy Pizza. That one is, I think, this congeniality. Anyway, so we want four ounces of margarine. Now you have a slightly higher fat content in cheese scones as you do in fruit scones. Don't know why, but you do. It just um, makes a much lighter, lovely texture. As I said yesterday, put a bit of mustard in. You only want about a teaspoon. I know I'm using a knife, but you want about a teaspoon. It just enhances the cheese. And the cheese I've used, by the way, is extra mature cheddar and it gives you a lovely flavour. There is no point using mild cheddar. All it is, is a source of fat. It has no flavour whatsoever. So use a nice mature or extra mature cheddar and a good squidge of black pepper. And then we're going to stir that together. So you've got your fat, your cheese, your flour, a little bit of mustard and some black pepper. We're just stirring that in, and you're going to get that into breadcrumbs. Now I'm just going to break off here to take my pizza that I'm making out of the oven, because I'm going to put the cheese on. You're not going to have a look at this yet, but I'm going to put the cheese on top at this stage, and I'll tell you why later. So we're going to put that back in. Looking good. You're going to have such a fun night tonight. You've been sending in suggestions. We've had a lot of variety. I've had everything from Gone with the Wind, which will keep us going to the end of the uh, come to isolation period, um, to Pretty Woman, always a good film. Personally, I love Sweet Home Alabama. Nice for a night in. So I'm going to pop that back in the oven and we'll have a look in a minute. Right, I'm just going to wipe that one down a tiny bit. Right, so back to our scones. I'm going to get my hands in. So we're going to mix this round until it resembles fine breadcrumbs. So mix that in. Get your hands in. Kids love this. It's so good for them. 
getting in and enjoying cooking. Had some lovely feedback the other day. I was really pleased with that. Thank you, everybody. And I hope you'll uh, enjoy it. Anyway, back to films. I'm mixing this in. I said to my, uh, my cousin's daughter's a bit of a film buff, aren't you, Amelia? She's a bit of a film buff. And I said, what would you recommend, Amelia? And she's recommended Tangled or Frozen 2 for children. Hairspray or Grease for good family entertainment. And my cousin said, Outbreak, Sure Mother Dead, 28 Days Later, or Shawshank sure Redemption. So I said they were very thorough, but they said they had an awful lot of time on their hands at the moment. Right, so here we go. Fine breadcrumbs with your cheesy bits, obviously. So into that, we're going to put two eggs. So I've got two eggs here. You can break them straight in or break them into a bowl. If I'm breaking them in like this, you can see, if I'm breaking them into a mixing bowl, which is mixing, I put them into a bowl, into the, a little bowl, because you invariably get shell in it, and you don't want that. So, so I'm mixing that round, two eggs, and you'd still actually, even if you were doing a pound of flour, you'd still use two eggs. It um, binds it together well. And then a nice bit, not too much actually, of milk. Now we made bread on Wednesday and I said at the time, you can't really go wrong with bread. You just need to knead and knead, you know, keep going with it. You want a nice pliable dough. Now scones are the opposite. Don't overwork them. They want to be light and fluffy, a little bit more milk. You'll only use probably a quarter of a pint maybe of milk, but certainly not very much. That's now coming together. Now, the nice thing about this is, tip it straight into your dish, into your um, tray, not onto the side, because you can flatten it out. Because it's cheese scone, if you were doing it with bread, you'd be fine. Just roll it out, put it in, nice and pliable. Little bit of flour on your hands, mix, get that into it. But because it's cheese scone, if you mixed, rolled this out on the top, you wouldn't be able to pick it up. It's a really pliant dough. And now I've got it all over my hands. So I'm just going to get a little bit of flour. And then I'm going to give a rolling pin. Now it's in my tray here. Can you see? I'm going to get my rolling pin and I'm just going to squash it down. And you go down to the top of the tray. Keep rolling it out. And then you're just going to have to, because that's as far as I can roll it. So you just now either get your hands or just get the end of your rolling pin and squash it into the corners. So you're still going to end up with about a centimetre deep, I suppose. Now, if you were making cheese scones, put them into an oblong on the table with some flour underneath. And you're going to get, if you're doing this mixture, you get about nine out of it. So you do it into a nice little square, cut it into three, cut it into three. But there you would be about two and a half centimetres um, high. And then you would just brush with a little bit of egg and put a little bit more cheese on top. Bake those in the oven at about 190 um, for about a quarter of an hour. And they're just so nice for a quick lunch. Make a batch, put them in the freezer. Well, eat one, obviously, at least. Put the rest in the freezer and then you'll be fine. Right, that's there like that. So it's full. Now you're going to get your tomato sauce. As I say, I've already used some of this. I'm just going to spoon it on. I'm going to spoon about two spoonfuls. You don't want too much because your top will fall off. It'll all flop. So here, you're just going to put your tomatoes into the corner like that and along there, into the edge. So it really gets a little bit of tomatoey flavour. Now, if you were coming home from work or whatever and you were in a real hurry, then don't worry too much about this. Just um, mix some tomato sauce and tomato puree in a bowl together. Not as much puree as sauce. Just mix about two tablespoons of tomato sauce and one of puree. Mix it together well, a little bit of pepper, and spread that on the bottom. I don't recommend that doing that every time, but if you're in a hurry, that's nice. Now then, the next bit is the nice bit you decorate it. So you choose what you want to go on it. Now, the, if there's four of you and you like different things, just have a pick and mix. Split it into four and choose what's going to go on one. So 
I'll put some sweet corn, because most people like sweet corn. Apart from my husband, actually, who doesn't. And we'll put some peppers. Um, but you could choose, like you say, all four of you decorate. Choose what flavour you want. I've got some cherry tomatoes. I've got some lovely fresh ham that I got from uh, Alan's, actually, and just got them to do one thick slice and cut it into pieces. Pop some mushrooms on, whatever you fancy. And then the reason I stopped my oven and put the cheese on is that you don't want the cheese on now. You want to put this in the oven. I've got some salami here. Put this in the oven and let it cook for about 10 minutes. Take it out and put your cheese on top. Because otherwise your cheese goes really crusty. So I've put some mozzarella and some um, more cheddar on mine, what was left of the cheddar. So I'm just gonna fill that up, a few mushrooms. So we're gonna pop that in like that. And then I'm going to put that on the side. So that'll go in the oven in a minute. And fingers crossed, I'm going to get my cheesy, cheesy pizza out. It's going to look good. Oh, yes. There you go. So, I'll bring it round. I'll lean over. So, that's just a really lovely, thick, cheesy pizza. You see, if you put that mozzarella on right at the start when it went into the oven and the cheese, it would just go all crispy, it would disappear really. As it happens, it looks so attractive and delicious. Really good. So there is your pizza. Within a quarter of an hour going in the oven, you want it to cook for a good quarter of an hour. You want to make sure the bottom's cooked, obviously. So about a quarter of an hour, 20 minutes, and you will be enjoying your pizza. Put it with some coleslaw, a bit of salad, get your sweeties, your popcorn, watch your film, and enjoy your weekend. And I think next week, we're going to get cheesy again, so we're going to get going with some Wensleydale cheese on, on Monday. I'll let you know your ingredients on Sunday. Have a lovely time. Thank you very much. Bye-bye now.